It's been only one day since the tragedy at the Riverbank Run. Former Grand Valley State University football player Jason Kinsler collapsed during the 25K race. And even though we've learned that he had help at his side within minutes, the 37-year-old later died. Today, 24 Hour News 8's Danny Carlson spoke with a sports medicine doctor who spoke of the dangers of running long races and also how to stay as safe as possible when you're out on the track. Well, Larry, we don't yet know what happened to Kinsler yesterday at that big race, but as we found out today, running definitely does have some inherent risks. Congratulations. Have a great, great run. Pounding the pavement, looking for that runner's high. If you could do something that would lower all these things we were talking about, make you feel better, increase your mood, People would say, yeah, well, sign me up for that pill. Well, it's not a pill, it's exercise. So that means races like the Fifth Third Riverbank Run are good for you, right? Three people have died either during or after the Riverbank Run in the 34 years it's been around. Dr. Ed Cornolia is the head doctor for it and says the benefits of running do outweigh the risks, but there are risks to running long distances, and the longer the race, the more risk. While the risk is there, it is actually still a very rare event. It's just very shocking, particularly when it happens to a young, otherwise healthy, healthy person. Running for a prolonged period of time stresses all the muscles in the body, even the heart. Cornolia says about one in 110,000 marathon runners do suffer cardiac episodes, which is why what you do before the race can make a difference. Our doc recommends a six-week training program before running a 5K and an up to six-month one before running a marathon. And just to stay healthy when not training for a race, he says 20 miles a week is a good distance, but admits as a runner himself, not everything is in our control. Heredity plays a big part in this. Probably 30 to 50 percent of what you can control or what goes into a heart attack you can't control. It's your, it's your genes. Um, so yes, you're still going to have a problem. But things, uh, you know, like uh, lowering your cholesterol, lowering your uh, blood pressure, and uh, lowering your risk for diabetes, lowering your weight, all are can come about by exercising, and these all lower your risk of having heart problems. So of course you hear this all the time. But the doctor says before you start a running or exercise plan to talk with the doctor about it and perhaps do some tests to see how healthy you are going into that program, saying this is especially important if you're over 35 years old and have a family history of heart problems. And as always, for more information, check out our website, woodtv.com.